Hello again, welcome to another edition of Crop Life Retail Weeks. Paul Shrimp here again with Eric Spilligoy. Together, at least for this week, I have some traveling to do next week. We're uh, deep in the final preparations of the uh, Precision Ag Vision Conference, which uh, starts next Tuesday in Phoenix. That's where uh, I will be traveling, and, and uh, it's wrapping up and looking up, looking to be a terrific conference. We're just getting through those last minute kind of panel talks and figure out who's going to say what, but uh, but it's looking uh, looking like it's going to be fantastic. We've got about 180, 180 people coming uh, from, uh, and we've got, again, about 25 international people. Um, and really from all over the country, so it's going to be it's going to be a pretty exciting event. We're looking looking forward to that next week. But this week, a couple of things in the news. Uh, saw that uh, uh, the uh, EPA is assembling its FIFRA uh, scientific advisory panel next week, and ARA uh, submitted some comments to support the, the glyphosate. Uh, the, the the SAP or scientific advisory panel uh, is working is is evaluating it for uh, the carcinogenic potential. Uh, and so um, uh, EPA, uh, ARA, uh, along with, with other organizations, are, have sent uh, supporting, uh, supporting material to uh, hopefully you know, continue, <laughs> uh, continue access to glyphosate here in the United States. And they also submitted uh, comments on an atrazine review as part of uh, EPA's review of uh, uh, some of the chemical classes that they do about every 15 years. So um, a lot of, lot of activity on some of the important uh, crop protection uh, products that we're using. And, Hopefully that'll be successful. We'll continue to see the benefits of that against um, against the relatively, I think, minor risks based on how we use the products and how carefully we use the products and how carefully they've been evaluated over decades and decades now. So, uh, what's up uh, in your world? With All news? Right. Yeah, thanks, Paul. Um, obviously, it's fall and harvest is in full swing. And I saw earlier uh, today, as I was looking through some numbers, that uh, harvest, because of some wet weather across the country, in particular, Paul, I know Hurricane Matthew kind of wreaked a little havoc uh, with the schedules. Uh, harvests are actually behind schedule for this time of year. Uh, Mid-October, as of mid-October, uh, corn harvest is about 35% done, and soybeans about 44%. So, like I say, Paul, both numbers behind. Um, USDA has come out with their estimates for what the harvest numbers will look like. It's like corn will be about a, a million bushels lower than anticipated. Soybean will be about a million bushels higher. And Paul, what's interesting about that is uh, with those numbers, the carryover numbers for both corn and soybeans look like they'll be higher. For corn, about 2.3 billion bushels of carryover, and for soybeans, about 415 million bushels. Um, but despite that news, apparently there is very strong demand, according to what analysts are saying. So as of today, uh, corn prices uh, for December were up to about 350 per bushel. And soybean is just over 950 per bushel, so uh, maybe some encouraging news there for the commodity prices. Well, that's great. I mean, we've been hearing nothing kind of but gloom and doom, so a little yeah. good news would certainly certainly be awesome. So while I'm gone, I know you're going to be also traveling next week. Uh, yeah, actually, I'll be up in uh, Milwaukee, a Wisconsin area, visiting with some folks. So uh, if you're up in that area, we're hoping to see you while we're up there. Great. And we'll also think of all you folks down in, in the Carolinas and they're having such difficulties with flooding. You know, we're, we're thinking about you. Best of luck with um, uh, with it. And I'm sure we'll be next difficult uh, com couple of months, not only regaining lives, but also you know, regaining businesses and, and, and trying to make the most of what we can out of the, out of uh, what's left of some of the farms down there. It's really, really tough sledding. Amen. Uh, so that's it for this edition of Retail Week. Thanks for joining us and we'll see you next week.